What's going on guys? It's Kyle. Welcome to the Stock Goat YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be covering the SoFi stock. I'm sorry I couldn't film a video yesterday. I was extremely busy with work, but guys, we hit new, you know, 3-year all-time highs at 1444. So now we know where the new resistance is at right now. The stock pulled back a little. We had a big uh, sell-off early on in the morning today, you know, from that, you know, crypto boom. And the stock moved to like $13.03 in the uh, you know 24-hour markets. And then we finished today about $3.70, I believe. So guys, we know where the resistance is right now. It's break that $14.40, $14.50 level. And we could literally slingshot to the moon to finalize 2024. And understand, guys, I've been preaching about this $18 level you know, getting us, you know, eligible for the S&P 500. Well, you know, SoFi shares are always changing and stuff like that with, you know, stock-based compensation, dilution. But actually right now, some great news is we only need $17 to be eligible for the S&P 500 after our four quarters of profitability right now. So if you ask me straight up, Kyle, are you just BSing us for views and likes and subscribers about this whole SoFi getting into the S&P 500? Tell me the truth, guys. I'm being completely honest. I think SoFi is going to get inside of the S&P 500 in 2025, you know, next year, okay? After Q4 this uh, year, we're going to be at five quarters in a row of profitability. So what you need to ask yourself is, can SoFi reach over $17, you know, pretty soon, okay? Because we're going to have to hold over that level for a period of time. But guys, I think once we get over this $14.50, I mean, we could potentially launch to that, you know, 16, 17, 18 range pretty quickly, okay? The stock continues to just break new and new resistance every one to two weeks. So I'm telling you right now, the market is shifting back over to fintechs. And SoFi is the number one player in America right now with the best brand awareness, okay? It's just a matter of time before Wall Street finally wakes up and sees that this is a true fintech darling out there and they continue to diversify away from that you know lending revenue you know more to that financial services fee based revenues okay if we get another loan platform deal the stock's going to be at 15% if we land a galileo top 10 legacy bank customer we're going to be up 40% if we enter the s&p 500 we're going to move up another you know 30 40% okay so many different combinations is what's going to get this stock moving. Just know that you have a management in place now that is there for one reason and one reason only, and that is to get this stock ripping up to $45 so they can hit their super bonus comps mid-2026. If you find any of this information useful, be sure to smash the like button, drop a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're going to be keeping you updated daily on all the breaking news. Let's get into it. All right, guys, I want you to take a look at this real quick. Okay, this is just a little valuation to show you, you know, some of the other you know, tech companies out there like in a firm and just show you what the multiples are looking like when you compare it to a SoFi. And understand, guys, uh, companies were supposed to make the shift, you know, a year ago to, you know, profitability, you know, not being able to, you know, continue to grow at 40, 50 percent range, you know, still losing a lot of money. And a firm right now has still lost money. They're saying they're not going to be profitable you know, for another, you know, couple of quarters. These guys are still losing money and their stocks getting rewarded dramatically you know almost at a 20 billion valuation for continuing to lose money you know showing bigger loss quarter over quarter and these guys are trading over you know higher than sofi right now look at the market caps guys 15 billion on sofi 18 billion on a firm look at the net incomes over the last four quarters okay sofi is at 153 million in the positive and a firm's at negative 444 million dollars okay this is what I'm talking about, okay? I believe SoFi is going to launch over 17 pretty easily and make its way over to $20 soon, okay? Uh, we've just had massive short interest and massive bear article after bear article, and we continue to put these bear, you know, articles to rest pretty quickly, okay? So they're pretty much expired now on bear headlines, and, you know, this is where the market starts to shift with these rate cuts, and we're going to get our valuation pretty soon coming up, guys. I think fair value is about $18 right now. Something to look at, guys. Shorts are finally covering a little bit. Look at the last, you know, couple of weeks of updates. You can see the gaps come in every two weeks. And we had a two-week update, 189 to 186. Another two-week update, 181 million outstanding shares short. Another two weeks, 180 million. Look at this, guys. A 20 million almost, you know, drop off, okay? So shorts have covered a little bit. And this last, you know, update, okay, and we'll get a new update every two weeks. So 
This is very interesting to see because, look, guys, as soon as 20 million shares get covered, look what the stock's doing. I mean, the stock's absolutely ripping. We hit 1444 at resistance level, okay? If we break through that, guys, the sky is the limit for the end of 2024. So this is the time, you know, to be looking for, you know, DCA opportunities. You could have got that in the 24-hour markets uh, early today. You know, 1303, you know, did pop up. I'm not saying it could go lower or higher or whatever, but I'm just saying, you know, you got to, you know, react when opportunities arrive. All right, guys, so take a look at this. This is a position I had for some call options on the SoFi stock. I was buying these a couple of months ago. And I don't go, you know, leaps, uh, you know, one, two years out. I like to buy like the four to six month range on my call option. So these turned out pretty good. Okay. You can see I had about 84 contracts. These were March 2025 calls. Okay. The end of March. And we had a return of 487%. So you can see I was purchasing these for 77 cents. And now they are trading at $4.55. So. I think, um, you know, these could go a little bit higher. I just wanted to trim a lot off the table, you know, just in case we get, you know, one to two, three weeks of just the market standing still because we're at such high levels. But you can see I sold 30 out of the 84 contracts uh, on that day, the 11th, which was yesterday. So I didn't have time to film, but I was doing a little bit of, you know, options trading. So, you know, you can get big returns on call options, you know, in the short term, midterm and long term. But I'm just not about the short term, you know, of one to four weeks because they just expire so dang fast. I like to buy that medium range, that six to nine months. And these are, you know, looking pretty good. Okay. If SoFi stock does hit $16 to $18 by the end of the year, because I do, I definitely plan on selling these before uh, 2025. I'd like to get rid of these, you know, right at New Year's or Christmas. I mean, these could go up a lot higher at the $16 to $18 range. So just showing you guys some moves that I made. These were, options i bought months ago all right guys we got institutional ownership whale updates coming in we have geode capital management increased their position by two percent not exactly what i was looking for but hey if the share count is going up i'm pretty happy so guys this is a whale we've been waiting on and the update finally came in and geode has been adding all right guys and we have officially uh six whales out of the top 10 here it is Silver Lake, you know, they didn't do any changes. Uh, same amount of shares, 31 million. This is the big one we were covering right away. Dimensional fund, 88% increase, 24 million shares. These guys added 10 million shares. We have not seen a whale do that besides them. Geode Capital, 2% uh, increase, 17.6 million shares. Morgan Stanley, 5% increase. And then ARK Invest sold 13% and Sumitomo sold, and Sumitomo sold 12%. So guys, not exactly what I was looking for. Uh, dimensional fund kind of cleared up the selling on you know arc and sumitomo adding 10 million shares but we still got four whales to go and the stock you know was clipping 14 and a half okay so i think one of these four whales vanguard blackrock state street or over here uh the thing messed up a little bit norges bank i think one of these four went heavy and i'm gonna get you guys those live updates pretty soon so we have the top six whales and we're waiting for four more to, you know, discover what was going on in these buying opportunities the past 90 days covering the last quarter. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. We're going to keep you updated. All right, guys, nothing to be alarmed about today. Another cool off. Okay, we might get a cool off the next one to two weeks. But if SoFi continues to hover around that, you know, 13 to $14 range and it breaks out of that mid 14 level, the sky's the limit, guys. SP 500, $17 eligibility. I'm very excited. So be sure to smash the like button, drop a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're going to be keeping you updated daily. Once again, my name is Kyle. Hope you have a great day.